welcome back to the channel. We've got four challenges lined up for you. Can you crack these challenges? Feel free to pause the video and give them a try on your own. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So the first problem is, look at this problem. The problem is nine times parentheses, three plus three times two. Can you solve this problem? Let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below for me your answer in the comments. So here we can use PEMDAS rule to solve this expression, as it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Look at the expression. Here we have a plus sign, multiplication signs, and a parentheses. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is parentheses, so we're going to Simplify everything in the parentheses first, so we're focused here, and we look inside the parentheses. So inside the parentheses, we have a plus sign and a multiplication sign, since multiplication have a higher priority, so 3 times 2 will be our first move, which is equals to 6. So again, we're still working inside the parentheses, so we have 6 plus 3, which is equals to 9. Now finally, we're done with everything to do with inside the parentheses. So now we can start thinking about the numbers outside of the parentheses. So 9 next to this parentheses. Here this is actually multiplication, and that's all we have to do. 9 times 9 is 81. This is our final answer. So here is the second problem. Look at this problem. The problem is 8 plus 8 times 4 divided by 2. Let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below which of the following options is correct. Here we can use PEMDAS rule to solve this expression because it tells us the sequence in which the mathematical expression should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Since the expression only contains a plus sign, a multiplication sign, and a division sign. According to PEMDAS rule multiplication and division has a higher priority than addition. And further, since there is a multiplication and division signs, both the signs have the same priority. So what do I see first, form moving left to right? Well, in this case, I see multiplication first. So this is what I have to do first. So eight times four, will be our first move, which is equals to 32. Now we have the following expression. Now our next move will be division, 32 divided by two, which equals 16. Now the expression becomes eight plus 16, which is equals to 24. Look at the options. The first one eight is incorrect. The second one is minus 24, which is also incorrect because our answer is a positive number. The third one is four factorial. Look when a number has this little exclamation mark in front of it. We call this number a factorial. How much is a factorial? You take a number and multiply its predecessors until one arrives, all right? So four factorial is equals to four times three times two times one. On multiplying the numbers, this will give 24. So option C will our final answer. So the third challenge is, the problem is five times parentheses, five plus, five divided by five times five. Let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below for me your answer in the comments. So here we can use PEMDAS rule to solve this expression as it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Look at the expression. Here, we have a plus sign, division sign, multiplication signs, and a parentheses. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is parentheses. So we're going to simplify everything in the parentheses first. So we're focused here and we look inside the parentheses. So inside the parentheses, we have a plus sign, division sign, 
and a multiplication sign. Is there any multiplication and division? Yes. What do I see first? Form left to right. Well, in this case, I see division first. So this is what I have to do first. So 5 divided by 5 will be our first move, which is equals to 1. So again, we are still working inside the parentheses. So now we have 5 plus 1 times 5, since multiplication have a higher priority. So 1 times 5 will be our next move, which is equals to 5. Again, we're still working inside the parentheses. So we have 5 plus 5, which is equals to 10. Now finally we're done with everything to do with inside the parentheses. So now we can start thinking about the numbers outside of the parentheses. So 5 next to this parentheses. Here, this is actually multiplication. And that's all we have to do. 5 times 10 is 50. This is our final answer. So here is the last challenge. Look at this problem. The problem is, what is the additive inverse of 3 minus 3 times modulus of minus 3 plus 3 plus 3 fractorial can you solve this problem let's see step by step how to solve it but first try to solve it yourself and comment below for me your answer in the comments okay we've seen a lot of people do it the following way look at 3 minus 3 is 0 right it's going to be 0 times modulus of minus 3, plus 3, plus 3, factorial, right? Then we'll see, in mathematics, 0 times any number gives 0, right? And it becomes 3 plus 3 factorial. And many people don't even notice this factorial sign here. And they write the expressions as 3 plus 3, which is equals to 6. So the answer in this case will be 6 wrong this is the wrong way for us to solve it okay let's see the correct way now you have to be careful with the order of the signs always be careful to solve the signs in the correct order so here we can use PEMDAS rule to solve this expression as it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results look at the expression here we have a minus sign, plus signs, a multiplication, a modulus sign, and a factorial. Let's first solve this modulus part. So what is the modulus of a number? The modulus of a number is its absolute value. That is, we disregard any sign it might have. So modulus of minus 3 will give 3 rights. So let's replace this part with 3. Now here we have 3 factorial. What is factorial in mathematics? Look when a number has this little exclamation mark. We call this number a factorial. How much is a factorial? You take a number and multiply its predecessors until one arrives, alright? So 3 factorial will be equals to 3 times 2 times 1, which will give 6. Now the expression becomes 3 minus 3 times 3 plus 3 plus 6. Since according to PEMDAS rule, multiplication have a higher priority. So 3 times 3 will be our first move, which is equals to 9. Now we have the following expression. Now the expression only contains plus and minus sign, since both the signs have the same priority. So expression will be solved from left to right. Now 3 minus 9 will give minus 6. Now we have minus 6 plus 3 plus 6. Now minus 6 plus 3 will give minus 3. And by adding 6, finally we get 3. Now the question becomes quite simpler. We have to find the additive inverse of minus 3. So what is an addictive inverse? An additive inverse of a number is defined as the value which on adding with the original number results in zero value. Okay, so the additive inverse of minus 3 is equals to 3. Great. This is our final answer. Hope you understand it well. Thanks for watching.